Bum, bum. Bye. Hello, Warriors. Welcome to Eon Play. It's Sammy Right Love Bow Party. Let's continue on. This is Iyasu Tokugawa story. So, yeah. Let's, let's do it. I am clicking on it, but it's not. Okay, it went. I click on it, but sometimes it don't go. As soon as we arrive in the capital, I am brought before Lord Nobunaga. Oh, so this is that cook of yours with the absolute victory ball, is it? Yes, my lord. Brought to cook for your men as requested. Please do feel free to use him as you see fit. What's with the phrasing? He just sees people as things to be used. No, the older army has enough cooks. You do something with him, monkey. Huh? My lord. Hey, Mitsunari. I love you, Mitsunari. You were the one with the broad idea to bring this cook for us in the first place, after all. Iyasu, I'm sure you don't mind my monkey finding a place for the boy, do you? Please do. If one of my retainers can be of use to Hideyoshi, then it is all the more honor for the Tokugawa clan. Yeah, there's no way he believes a word of that. Thank you kindly, Iyasu, but I've got more than enough cooks of my own. So please give your cook to your own men with my blessing. After all, there is nothing better to stir the blood than a nice meal. Oh, you are far too good to us. We thank you. What an admirable man you are. Hideyoshi, for your concern to extend so far as Togawa forces. <laughs> Freaking Age of Dynasty Wushu! Age of Dynasty Wushu, how dare you! Let me let me get get rid of that. Age of Dynasty Wushu. Okay. <laughs> no need to thank me. All that matters is that we can all stand tall. <laughs> what is with me Nari? I love you, by the way. I love you. I love you. I love me Nari. Whoa. If Lutz could kill, Lord Mitsunari would have Lord Iyasu dead and buried. But now, things are starting to make sense. I have been wondering just what had convinced Lord Iyasu not to kill me and make me his cook instead. Now that I know it was all Lord Hideyoshi doing, I have... I know I have to thank him. But now is not the time as I am quickly shuffled from the room so that Lord Nobunaga can meet with his war council. A few days after we begin our match on the Asukara forces. We receive a word of the fall of the... Damn it! What's with these freaking names? You know what? Let's try to say it. Kangasaka Castle. Signaling our advance to lay the final sage. The Tokugawa army is to be standing at the front lines to bring down the Asu Asakara Yoshi Kaya. Yeah. 
the name butcher, Keon Hero, the princess of name butchers. Which means that Torimatsu and the others who left ahead of us are all right properly. Asukara must be shaking in his boots. I wouldn't be so sure. Huh? My lord, Iyasu, is there something on your mind? I doubt that Asakura is going to accept defeat so gracefully. S saying nothing of... Lord Iyasu! Lord Nobunaga will quest the reinforcements to the front line immediately! Reinforcements? See? I told you. Reinforcements? What happened out there? Last I heard, victory was practically ours. It was before Azai of Omi betrayed us. He what? But Lord Azai is Lord Nobunaga's brother-in-law. How could he? Any ties that bind can be freaking YouTube. Freaking YouTube. Gosh damn you, YouTube. Let me get rid of that. Una's honest. Gosh damn you, Una's honest. Gosh damn. Gosh damn. Okay, let's continue on. Any ties that bind can just be as easily cut. If a man's loyalty is one easily, his betrayal will be easier. Lord Iyasu explains calmly as if this was exactly what he expected to happen. And now, yeah, and what are they doing at the front lines now? My lord! Lord Hideyoshi has taken command of the rear guard. To all Lord Numbadaga to escape uninjured. Great. So now, I'm fighting with a monkey, Sai. And here I thought I told them I never work with children or animals. Okay, don't do that. Don't don't ever do that, Keon. Keon, don't ever freaking do that. <laughs> Let's continue on. What what was that, my lord? Does it matter to you? Does it? Either way, sticking this out to the bitter end is bound to be more fun than running. Tadasugu, we're going. My lord, Tadasugu will follow you anywhere. So dramatic. Lord Yasu eyes narrow with thinly vile annoyance before he turns to me. As for you, you won't be of any help, so stay here. Huh? I'll have someone to come fetch you later, if I remember. Try to survive on your own until then. What? He's going to just leave me here? Keon, no one will attack this place. Remain here in safety and wait for our return. I... I will. Stop sprouting nonsense and let's go. Yes, my lord! Come on, you lot. Behind Lord Iyasu! Their battle ch chargers whining in one great cry. And before long, they are gone. Please, everyone, be safe. Of course, I know that there's a... Freaking dogs! 
Of course, I know little chance of that in the middle of a war. But I still can't keep myself from hoping anyway. A few days later, some men from the Tokugawa clan returned to take Lord Nobunaga's favorite scullery maid back. It is not for several days after that that I hear so much of as a word from Lord Iyasu himself. Lord Iyasu, it's Keon. I brought some tea. Get in here. The whatever the fuck that is in his voice makes me stand just a little straighter as I walk in. Thank you, my lord. <clears throat> he looks like he's in one of his moods. The teacup rattles when I set them down, but I still find myself looking over Lord Iyasu's body for any visible injuries. Don't look at me, little witch. What the freak? I hate you. I freaking hate you. Freaking, let's round up. Let's, let's do it. Let's freaking round up. Come on. Come on. Bring it. Bring it on, bitch. Bring it. Bring it on, bitch. Okay, I'll stop. Forgive me, my lord. You must be disappointed. I made it back alive, hmm? Huh? How incredibly unfortunate for you. Thanks to Lord of the Fool's little monkey and his tricks, all of us got out without a scratch. Lord Hideyoshi and Lord Nobunaga are alive. I'm so glad. But to my surprise, I realized that is not the only reason I'm relieved. I'm not disappointed. What? I'm glad you're alright, Lord Iyasu. What's this now? You're quite a honey-tongued little people pleaser, aren't you? What makes a person think like that about human kindness anyway? I'm no such thing. I don't waste my time with flattery. Well then... So you didn't want me dead, after all. That's news to me. Aren't you the one who always looking at me with such terror and disdain in your eyes? That is true. I am scared of him, but... We can still round up. We can still put these hands up, these fist ups. Come on, bring it on. Bring it on. I will freaking fight you. I will fight you. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. Da 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 da. Well, I'm not going to deny it. You treat me horribly, depending on nothing more than your wins. That frightened me. But even so, no one deserves to die in war, not even you. So, Lord Iyasu, I'm glad that. Quiet. Shut up before you really get on my nerves. Everyone just has to test me, don't they? The only reason why I had to fight next to that stupid monkey in the first place is because of his incompetent little master. That Lord of Fools knew exactly what was coming, and his incarnation is to blame for everything. Lord E also picks up his teacup and slowly turns it over, whatever the fuck that is, the candle on his desk. Oh. 
Only a fool will wait for a spark to catch fire in his own house. A brother who betrays you is still a betrayer. He is so damn irritating. Lord Yasu slams the empty cup back down onto the tray. Several days later, you lot, listen up. Lord Yasu speaks. Lord Tadasugu voice. Even makes me the candle and the lanterns flicker. Even his voice is more pronounced, making it undeniable that this is war and we are on the battlefield. I only have one thing to say before you go out there. Crush, uh, Kazura. My lord! Finally! Revenge will be ours! Lord Yasu, we have received word that the older army has been surrounded in No Mura. How will you see, I mean, how will you use your forces? Yasu Masa, my lord, attack Azai. From his side flank, cut down his advance guard. My lord, Yasumasa will give you victory. Good. See the, whatever the fuck that is, runs red with their blood. He looks completely calm, even as his lips speak with cruel words. He's absolutely heartless. Ah, my lord, Yasu, such exquisite indifference. Save it, move out. My lord, does I and Asakura are no match for you, Lord Iyasu. Turamatsu, you're with me. Right. Seeing them all in formation yet again puts the same terror in my heart as before they left the last time. But even so, they are gone again. Consumed by a whirlpool of cruelty and Death doomed to rise forevermore? Kitchen Ranch, wait for us to return. Well, fuck you. <laughs> I had to say it. I don't care if it gets demonetized or anything. F you. Yeah, yes, my lord. You really are worthless, little tramp, aren't you? Well, freaking... Ugh. How dare you, you think? Before I can come up with a retort for the harsh words thrown at me as if I were no more than common garbage. Lord Yasu is gone, his mare carrying him to battle as if spur on by the wind. Uh, uh. I think I'm going to go ahead and end it right now. So, I'm going to make it another episode, but it's it's going to be short, a short episode since it's two chances. So, stay awesome. Take care. Until next time, Keon Plays. Sammy Ride Love Battle Party. Bye.